Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Admiral Kahlberg, and today we're going to be having a look at the Dow Jones Index. So the Dow Jones, like much of the American equities market, has been in a significant downward trend and aggressive sell-off really since the middle of the year when it peaked after you know, a prior sell-off. Now, whilst the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 had already entered bear markets, the Dow Jones up into last week had um, escaped that kind of sell-off. However, with hotter than expected CPI and core CPI figures coming out of the US last month and another 75 basis point hike from the Federal Reserve, the Dow has been unable to um, resist this recent sell-off. In addition, the sentiment towards a recession has been growing and fear and panic has taken over the equities and the global economic market. So the question is, well, when is the bottom going to be in and what's the next move for the Dow? So for that, we're going to have a look at the, firstly, the weekly chart, and we're going to just zoom out a little bit and see where, where we're sitting. So as we can see, we've got a really strong area of support um, just at around 20, 30,000 to 25,000 or so. And that's where we're sitting just at the moment. And we haven't yet seen the Dow break through. I'm just going to adjust this rectangle. It's probably a little bit big, but this is a significant area of support and resistance, obviously, from before. We saw the spike in um, prior to COVID, then that jump, and that's where that this level is sitting now. The other thing that we can tell or we can see is that, just bear with me is that we've crossed over this 200 week average, which is obviously quite a concern. And you can see whenever we've been in an uptrend, we've never really crossed through without a pretty quick pullback. Um, obviously COVID-19 being the exception to that. And prior, really the last time we dropped below was the GFC um, and that dot-com bubble burst era. So we are in you know pretty rare territory. And Based on history, we may be expecting a bounce sometime soon, at the very least, to retest or to jump back over this 200-week um, moving average. So that's our first point um, that we, we can see here. However, the other thing is we are in a pretty significant sell-off at the moment, and that is really important to be aware of. Um, and the other thing is our next kind of area of support is at this 26,000 level. So as we move out, um, we may have a look at the FIB levels just to see where our, our next pullback will come. Um, so we're at a pretty aggressive, um, you know, 23% pullback at the moment, retracement. Again, the, you know, a uh, bounce may come soon. But a lot, of, again, depends on the sentiment coming from the market and the attitude from the Fed. So as we then have a look at the daily chart, we can see really a confirmation of what we've already seen. So again, that support zone here about to 26 to 30,000. The other thing that we notice is just how aggressive this sell-off has been. Now, since this um, kind of peak in August, we've dropped down almost 15.5% really since that time, which is a pretty significant drop from the Dow, broken through both the 50-day and the 200-day moving averages. And again, we're just looking to see, okay, well, where's our next um, bounce going to come from? If it doesn't come from this um, prior pre-COVID high, it may very well come from the $26,000 level. So even if we do uh, see a small bounce back up, based on um, you know, increasing interest rates and that re recession risk, we may see that push back down before another, um, you know, we reach that 26,000 point level. But there you go, guys. Um, you know, as we can see, Still pretty bearish on the NASDAQ, almost that straight move down, um, and we are still waiting for that bounce. So thanks for watching and good luck trading.